Yo, this is the Sky City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company and a hire car in Birmingham anywhere within one hour. Come on, hey, gang shit. Big Paul Dizzy in the cup. Fuck <laughs> Come on, out, gang shit. JP in the this story takes place in Bermondsey, in London, South London. A man has been found guilty of murdering 23-year-old Joshua Bodu. Rest in peace to Joshua. He was stabbed in a knife attack and the man that has been convicted of it along with a 16-year-old boy is Denilson Davis. Denilson Davis is actually D Squeezo from Zone 2. Zone 2 is a Peckham-based gang. It is close affiliated, pretty much part of Hit Squad. And their opposition in London was at Moscow 17 and Harlem Spartans primarily. Pack on to Woolly man doing up ching. One, two, five, all pushback, man get round there. Laugh from my done ten toes. Gun squad knee took me off the strip. Nine inch change, zone two step with my 15 inch. Three, six, been smacking niggas on the wing. Broski crashed that shot, you know, innocent. Yeah, it was a Moscow Donny. These Squeezo had found success a featuring on Tim Westwood's crib sessions. And his wordplay was a good rapper. He could put words together well. What he said, nothing that he said was ever positive. Nothing that he ever said was constructive. He didn't really have tunes with any hooks or anything like that. It was mainly just upsend sort of tracks, diss tracks constantly. And you can see that he definitely had a lot of pent up aggression and rage. This happened in the Southwark area and he was convicted at the Old Bailey. Joshua's name to his friends was SJ. He suffered multiple injuries when he was stabbed in the chest in June last year. The detective involved in the case said SJ was attacked in broad daylight in Bermondsey on the Bermondsey estate, succumbing to his injuries several days later. We have never been able to establish a motive for this senseless killing, but I assure you it was definitely just due to the fact of he was associated in some way or knew someone or was maybe involved himself on road. A thorough police investigation by his team, not to mention the great work from the officers who proactively stopped two cars which yielded did vital evidence that led to today's convictions. Of course, SJ's family remained devastated and hope the result brings them some comfort. SJ from Bermondsey was attacked at quarter past six on the 11th of June on Lindsay Street. He managed to escape and sought refuge and address in Lucy Way, where police and London Ambulance Service were called. He was taken to hospital in a critical condition with injuries to his chest, neck and arm. On the way, he suffered a cardiac arrest. His life support was switched off 10 days later. The court heard, and when I say the court heard, People often ask me, how do you know what was said in court? Don't let olders make you think that the legal system is not something you should be learning, especially if you're involved in road. If you're on road, you need to be knowing the legal system better than a lawyer, than better than a police officer. Courtrooms are very open places. Anybody can go to a courtroom. Journalists go there, they document what's happening, and then they put it on blog sites. So any information from courts is obtained from blog sites or just the, the police releasing the information. It's all public domain. But back to the story, SJ was seen on camera on Lindsay Street at 10 past 6. Two minutes later, he was spotted walking back across the road, disappearing from view at a quarter past 6. He was next seen on camera at 20 past 6. By then, he had been stabbed and was running towards Lucy Way. At the same time, a Peugeot could be seen driving on Lindsay Street and away from the scene. Two witnesses saw what happened to SJ and described how he was pushed up against the car and surrounded by three males. One was wearing distinctive blue tracksuits, matching what Davis had on at the time. All three males attacked SJ, who held up his arms to protect himself. One then produced a knife and stabbed him. SJ managed to duck under the arm of one of the attackers and make his escape. The police investigation found that Davis and the youth tried to call SJ after the attack. Evidence later recovered a mobile phone of the youth and a third man in a recording studio in Lewisham at around half 11 on the night of the attack in a celebratory mood. So when the police say this, they're literally going through their phones, they're going to track your evidence, they're going to find out what's going on, especially online. And with D Squeezo, he was very, very blatant. There is one video that I found online with a quarter of a million views where he's recording himself driving around Moscow 17's estate. Moscow 17 is from the Brandon estate. Two members of Moscow 17, I know there's, there could potentially be more, that was murdered on that estate. Rest in peace, GB and Incognito. Do, 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 and Dash got things and pants. Talk, talk. Out the things and it's got dash. P got drank time too. It's mad for man face 20 and the man that dash. Bang, I 
slang, pats get slang, can cheat and he chat. He born with a bread, them boy in a trap. Them them boy there are trap. Oh, and D Squeezo literally just used to record it driving around there and then put it on his Instagram and Snapchats and stuff like this. And then what happens is young uh, fans will screen record it and then put it on YouTube. A quarter of a million views. Like it's just ridiculous. Like really. They are literally recording themselves going out to potentially commit a crime. On the 16th of June, officers attended Eastern Road, SE4. They spotted the Peugeot that was used in the attack. He parked nearby and the driver got out and ran away. A short time later, a Ford Focus was seen driving up and down the road where the Peugeot had been abandoned. It was stopped and Davis was found to be in the back of the car. He and the driver were searched but nothing untoward was found. However, the Peugeot was seized and examined. Fingerprints belonging to Davis were found inside as well as DNA from the youth. This is critical bit of evidence. The blood stain on the rear passenger seat matched SJ's DNA. So they were able to find a weapon in there with both of their DNAs together. So obviously their DNA being blood should never be in the same place. SJ and Davies should never have had contaminated DNA. A large hunting knife was recovered from the pocket door along with a mobile phone. Davies admitted in court both of them items belonged to him. The reason I, I believe he did that is because it turned out that the car, the Peugeot, was a hire car. So that car was taken out in somebody's name so they pulled up and committed a brutal murder on a person in a car that was registered potentially to himself then the, the weapon was found in there with the mobile phone the police would have gone for the mobile phone they would have connected whatever they needed to connect to the mobile phone to ensure that it was davis's phone and that would be why i would assume he admitted to it and didn't just deny it of course sj's family made a statement in court and explained how devastated they was and it is a really sad story at the end of the day moscow 17 lost a lot of members harlem Sp Spartan has lost Lats, also known as SA, and Zone 2 have been doing a lot in music. They have artists like Trizak, Karma, PS, Quengface, and they've got a lot of views. They've even collaborated with Skendo and AM on Kenny Allstar back when he was on Radar, Radar Radio. So I really want to pay my respects to SJ's family, and rest in peace to SJ. And D Squeezo has not been sentenced yet, but I imagine this is going to be a big sentence due to the nature of the crime, and also the premeditated nature of it being being able taking a weapon out etc etc but i definitely keep you updated and i'll let you know when he does get sentenced but i really want to hear what people's thoughts are on this so please don't forget to pay your respects to sj joshua and also to try and put some constructive feedback into it as well so i really appreciate you joining me please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe